The president tweeted today the government will spare no expense to help Alaska recover. Remarkably, there are no reports of deaths or serious injuries, but already we know of significant damage, and it is not over yet. Seismologists expect aftershocks to last for months, perhaps even years. Journalist Nick Swan's camera was rolling as the 7.0 earthquake hit Friday morning. Heavy debris breaking through the ceiling before his steady hand lost its grip. Yes, <laughs> Students dove under desks. Courtroom workers took cover under tables as instant wreckage fell from above. And restaurant workers went from taking orders to giving them. All my coworkers were yelling, you know, get under the tables, get under the tables and be safe. But I'm still shaking. I'm still, you can probably hear it in my voice. Holy smoke. This church erupted in flames, sparked by downed power lines, roads buckled, and a highway off ramp collapsed, trapping an SUV. Parts of the historic scenic Glen Highway have reportedly disappeared. I have been here 37 years, and that was the most violent earthquake I have ever felt. It was absolutely terrifying. The quake's epicenter was about seven miles from Anchorage. Tsunami warnings were issued, and then and canceled for coastal areas, but not before highways jammed with an already shaken population anxious to find safety for the second time in a day. We live in earthquake country, so folks here are used to small tremblers, but this was a big one. A big, familiar one to Caltech seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones. And it's precisely what we saw in Northridge. Good buildings built to code doing fine, old buildings being damaged, that's all. It's what we see every time. She says today's Anchorage earthquake was stronger than the Northridge, but came from deeper in the earth, so both quakes felt about the same. Viewing the damage and some of the immediate reactions, she says she sees work to do, but also progress. Running during a big, strong shaking, you fall, you sprain your ankles, you break your legs. Uh, we've had people die from trying to run in earthquakes, and seeing all these people do drop cover hold on is really encouraging. As Dr. Jones preaches, you will reduce your chance of injury if you drop, cover, and hold on until the shaking stops. This is also a good reminder to make sure your earthquake quit is, kit is ready to go with emergency supplies. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you.